Hey guys, I'm Jessica and I'm here today to talk to you about why the world needs your novel. So I know that a lot of us were disappointed by the results of the election and I thought about it a lot yesterday. I didn't feel like writing at all but I did and I'll tell you why. Because the world needs our stories now more than ever. I'm a strong believer that if you feel the urge to write then it's because you have something important to share and you have the obligation to share it. Being a high school English teacher, I've witnessed what books can do and what books are doing every day. I've seen young adults recognize the bias in our judicial system through novels like Twelve Angry Men and Monster and To Kill a Mockingbird. I've listened to kids who told me they hate books talk about a world with no books in the novel Fahrenheit 451 and how terrible that world would be and how important reading is. I've sat back and listened to students discussing novels and young adult novels and classic novels and talking to one another about things that they may never have spoken to their peers about, like race and gender and moral decisions. I sat back and listened to a really apathetic group of 11th graders talk about the morality behind George shooting Lenny in of Mice and Men. They realized the complexity of that decision and they had to put themselves in the minds of George when he was thinking about what was best for Lenny. I've seen teachers working really hard to stay on top of what's popular in young adult fiction. I've been that teacher who spends my free time thinking about what my students would want to read. I've seen teachers and been that teacher who works tirelessly to incorporate young adult literature into the curriculum into a curriculum that is becoming more and more focused on short nonfiction texts. I have seen teachers handpick young adult novels that they think that their students might be interested in and giving it to them to read. I've been that teacher who lends out books to students when they're interested without a question. I've given away books to kids who I know are probably not going to return them and it hurts me but I know I can replace it and I'm just happy they have a book at home with them. If you can get your book in the hands of English teachers there's no telling what will happen with it. Reading books helps you develop empathy, something that is crucial to being a good person and making good choices. When you're reading you're placing yourself in the position of someone else. You're experiencing something that you might not have experienced before. You're thinking through things that you would have never thought through before. You are able to recognize problems in the world and society that you might never have recognized before. So this is where you come in. This is where your story comes in. Every story is an opportunity to teach someone something that they didn't know before. Every story is an opportunity to show someone your point of view or a point of view of a character that you're writing. Your story has the potential to turn someone's life around. Your story has the potential to show someone how it feels to be different. Your story has the potential to get someone reading so that they will continue reading and continue picking up books and continue learning. Your book could cause someone to start thinking differently about things and treating people differently and voting differently. It's so easy to get discouraged and go on Facebook and see some of the terrible things that people are saying and recognize the lack of empathy in others. But that just means that there's more work to do now, more than ever. It's up to us to make sure that society keeps evolving. It's up to us to make sure that people keep reading. And there are so many ways to get your book read these days. There's traditional publishing, there's self-publishing, and then there's things like Wattpad. And I can't tell you how many students I've had who live on Wattpad. That's how they find people who are like them. That's how they find stories that make them feel safe, is through Wattpad. So there are so many options to share your writing. There's no excuse not to do it. If you have a story inside you that you feel like needs to be told, it's up to you to get it written and get it out there. So get out there and keep writing. Don't give up. If you are doing NaNoWriMo and you're behind, keep going. Even if you don't hit 50,000 words, at least you've written the entire month and that's something to be proud of. Thank you guys for watching. I will be back tomorrow with my writing update.